I'll, I'll ask you a specific question, but it, it applies to everybody broadly. Le LeBron James has left the Eastern Conference. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, how does that change the way you and, and your yeah. Eastern Conference counterparts <laughs> go about your work? I mean, there's an, <laughs> yes, there's an, there's an opportunity there that, that hasn't existed for a while. And, and no, is my best player in the NBA, you know, like an in, in, incredible player who has been a thorn, you know, like um, um, with us, you know, it's, it's, it's incredible uh, to watch him play as, uh, as a competitor. And, uh, but I think, I think it's, it's, it, it's exaggerated and overrated in terms of other teams are going to rise I think other teams are just going to, it doesn't, for me, it doesn't mean anything that the East is, is easier, you know, because other teams see it the same way, you know, like as we see it, as uh, Boston sees it, as, you know, Philly. Uh, but for me, everybody is going to rise, you know, like everybody is going to get uh, better. And that's one thing with the NBA, I'll tell you, like guys smell blood, you know, like, GM smell blood, players smell blood even more. You know, um, everybody wants to win. That's what the game is about. It's all about winning. But am I thankful? <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. So I guess that leads to the more general question, which is how much of what else is happening around the league affects the way you plan a roster, your timeline, et cetera, or, or you spend more of your time in, in your particular situation? Yeah, well... I mean, if you got to have someone to cover LeBron, you know, and I don't know how you cover him, uh, but I've never seen a guy his size. I guess he's 6'8", 270 maybe. The dude, the things he does and how he handles the ball makes everybody better. What he did in that Toronto series, the, the one in the Cleveland game, the third one when he was, I don't want to bring up bad memories, but he was fading, going left. And I mean, are you kidding me? Uh, so... Yeah, I think you look at things, you may look at some of your competitors and what you need to put on that team to cover. But I think it's opportunity, too. And, and if, you don't have, if you have cap space, you don't have cap space, what trades you might be able to make. And then when you're drafting, you know, everyone always says you take the best player available. I think you say that up top, but maybe when you're back in late first, early second, I think it's really close in some of the players. I think you take need that way. So that's how I look at it. Well, LeBron eliminated the Pacers five years in the playoffs. Um, and you're building a team. I think every year you're like, you know, our goal is to get to the playoffs. And then how do you advance in the playoffs? And then it gets very specific in what you're looking for. Because once you're there, you're like, okay, how do you guard LeBron? And um, him being in the West will make it a lot easier. And, and only the fact that maybe you can go further because if he's playing, he's winning. And so him being in the, in the West, it's, it is this. <laughs> <laughs>